playing mind games on all the neighbors and they don't even know it. Ha! Hey guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear, I'm JB. In this video, I'm gonna give you my very best tips to achieve an awesome edge. Wanna make all your neighbors jealous? Then it's time to take you to the edge. Your lawn has a mind of its own. If neglected, the edging along your sidewalks, driveways, and walkways will take over. I personally like to see every inch of concrete on my sidewalks. When I moved in here, the grass grew over about six inches on each side of the sidewalk. And I wasn't having that. Here is a neighbor's sidewalk down the street, and you can see that the grass has overgrown about six inches onto the sidewalk. Here we are at another set of neighbors, and this is their property line. This neighbor here edges his lawn, this neighbor doesn't. Edge this turf back, maximize your concrete, and your lawn will instantly look more aesthetically pleasing. Time out. It has been dry here. My lawn is starting to slip into summer dormancy. With very little rain over the past three weeks and high temperatures in the 80s and 90s, this lawn is checking out. And I just mowed it yesterday. A big question that I get a lot is when should I edge? Before I mow? or after I mow. After you mow, hands down. Here's why. Your lawnmower and this Toro Time Master are big and heavy. As I complete a pass back onto the driveway, the wheels will press the grass toward the concrete. Edging after you finish mowing will erase these wheel pressed blades of grass, giving your lawn a fresh cut defined straight edge. Now, edging angle is another topic that's really a matter of preference. Now, I've seen a lot of lawn lovers over the years do a carpet-style transition strip edge where it kind of mounds up onto the turf. Let me show you what I mean. You can see here that it kind of rounds up and then onto the turf. To get this kind of edge, what they do is they take their trimmer, put it on a slant like this, and run it up and down the edge. Now, while that may look nice, here's the danger with that. Over time, this is gonna dig out a trench and take all the good grass with it. This doesn't look good and will need to be filled in. I prefer my edge to be straight up. 90 degrees, please. Think about it this way. Tall people stand out in a crowd. They're usually noticed first. Your lawn is no different. A perfect 90 degree edge on your lawn makes your lawn appear to be taller than it actually is. Playing mind games on all the neighbors and they don't even know it. Ha! When all the neighbors are mowing low and your lawn is standing tall and proud, your lawn will be the one getting all the attention. I am dying out here. It is freaking hot. I sweat right through my blue shirt earlier. The next tip kind of piggybacks off the last tip of a 90 degree edge. When your edger blade is straight up and down, it should create a nice channel right along the edge of your concrete. When I set the edger blade, I try to only let it drop about an inch or two just below the surface of the concrete. This will create a nice channel for water and other nutrients to get down to those roots. These areas along the concrete tend to struggle a little bit because of the excess of heat. Getting those nutrients and water down there can play a major role in helping you green up your lawn. Even during a heavy rainstorm, standing water can become a problem. By having these channels here on the sides, water has somewhere to go. Just set your edger at the right depth, and before you know it, that channel will be helping you out big time. Speaking of channels, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. Much like the blades on your lawnmower, your edger blades must be kept sharp. I usually buy a multi-pack of blades and once they wear down, I change them out right away. That pack will usually last me about the whole season, sometimes into the next season. These blades can take some abuse, usually bashing concrete on every rotation. If your edger blades do get banged up a little bit, you could take a metal grinder and just simply tone up the edge a little bit to help them get back in shape. A sharp edger blade will also prevent disease from taking hold in a weak spot. Not to mention, it'll also get the job done more efficiently and reduce your edging time. Keep your blades sharp and replace them when necessary. The right type of edger for your property matters. I have some long paths along my sidewalk and around my corner, so having a walk behind edger works perfectly for me. Now I have tried one of those stick edgers before, but found holding it and walking with it kind of weird, so it's just not something for me. I personally like the walk behind better. I found that those types of edgers are usually good for curvy concrete landscapes like this. And there is no way I would be using a corded edger on a sidewalk as long as this. I also have seen some guys use a string trimmer to get a nice tight edge and some do it very well but I have seen some guys get a real wavy edge doing it that way this edger comes with a story let me tell you how I got it when my wife and I first moved in here I decided I was gonna use one of those wooden stick edgers to get this whole sidewalk done what the hell is I thinking I think I did three concrete blocks before the neighbor over here came out of his house and said hey I got something in my shed for you and he pulls out this old commercial grade trail mate edger and says I could have it for free thanks awesome neighbor his name was Phil the frame was 
was originally orange and was in good working order, but the engine had more than $100 worth of problems with it. So I decided to rip the engine off of it, and then I had one can of black spray paint, so I spray painted the whole frame black. Then I went to Harbor Freight with probably one of the only 20% off coupons that was valid on a Predator engine. I got this engine for 80 bucks. Right after I bought it, they changed that policy so you could no longer buy engines with that 20% off coupon. Got the engine home and it fit perfectly on the old frame. Easiest engine swap ever. I actually did a video a long time ago on how to swap a Predator engine onto a snowblower. If you're interested in checking that video out, I'll have it linked down below in the description. I even added an oil drain hose to make oil changes easier. Anyone ever says that Predator engines aren't worth it, I beg to differ. This engine has been running perfectly for over eight years now with no issues. As I mentioned earlier, I like a nice 90 degree edge. This edger does allow you to hit multiple angles here. Just like that, it's all locked in for a nice 90 degree angle. You can also shift these front wheels over to do curbs, but I found that to take a little too long and just using a string trimmer tends to get it done faster. Brand new, these machines can run hundreds of dollars, but I have seen some very nice used ones on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace for about 100 to $150. You can grab one of these, these are the way to go. If this engine ever does fail, I do have some link down below in the description that I do plan on getting in future years. For being dozens of years old, this is a great edger. Don't forget to clean up your mess after you edge. There will be clippings left behind. Any big chunks I'll just throw into my composter. And I'll just leaf blow the clippings back into the lawn. Doing these edges here at the end of the driveway can be a little tricky. If you notice here, there is a bit of a rounded edge. This can make the edger sit crooked and not give me an accurate edge that I like. So in this case, we're gonna come in with the string trimmer and tackle it that way. It may not be my favorite thing to do, but it still gets that nice crisp edge. My last and final tip here is being consistent. If you consistently edge your lawn every week or every other week, your edge will be maintained. It's a quick task and if you keep it up, the positive comments from all the neighbors will come. When people start taking selfies in front of your lawn, you know you've won. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this here is a strip that I have neglected. Well, I don't wanna say neglected, I just haven't done because I knew I was gonna be doing a video on edging just for you guys. So I let this overgrow a couple of inches and right now it's about maybe two to three inches over the edge. So we're gonna edge this right out, make it look nice and neat.
check out those tight edges all the way down. Well, garage guys and gals, those are my tips to a perfectly edged lawn. For more cool lawn content, check out my links down below in the description. And don't forget to follow me further at Garage Gear JB on Instagram. If you found this video helpful, give me one of these. And if you are feeling the vibe and you want to be part of the tribe, subscribe so that way you can stay up to date with everything going on here at Garage Gear. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the garage.